Hello and welcome to the Let's Talk Learn Tech podcast. I'm your host Pranjali Lehri, extending a warm welcome to all of you. It's that month of the year when we reserve a day to celebrate women. At Upside LMS, we are taking it a step ahead and celebrating all of March as Women's Month. No surprises then that this podcast is dedicated to women power. We'll be talking about women on top, diversity, inclusion, pipeline leak, and more. So there it is, a podcast by women, for women, and of women. Joining me today are four women that represent Upside LMS in the roles of product specialist, technical support manager, sales manager, and pre-sales manager. Megha, Edlin, Harsha, and Nikita. I'm super stoked to be in an all-girl company today. Welcome to the podcast and wish you a happy, happy Women's Day every day. Megha, I want to start with you. As a go-to product specialist for LMS, you enable client champions to train their workforce by leveraging various features of a learning platform. Now, using that as an analogy, what can businesses, L&D in particular, do to crack the code for diversity and inclusion through training interventions? Happy Women's Day to everyone here and every day. In regard to the question, when we talk about diversity, we know diversity is traits and the characteristics that make people individual unique from one another. And the inclusion refers to the uh, behaviors, social norms, and that ensure that people feel welcome. About cracking code of diversity and inclusion at the workplace, I would like to say is to create inclusive culture which is conductive for employee engagement as well as productivity and we understand we know that because this could be achieved by providing a work environment in which everyone all the individuals treated fairly and given equal growth opportunities as well as resources so the diverse workforce can contribute fully to the organization's success by aligning individual goals with the organizational goals so in the context of uh, cruciality uh, of inclusivity diverse efforts to succeed in my opinion as you say uh, when you ask lnd yes indeed can play a vital role by making room for self-directed learning so this is what I think LND can do by leveraging various learning platform features alongside your mandatory compliance training programs, your role-based uh, learning intervention. LND can allow learners uh, greater freedom to pursue their areas of interest by making learning platform content rich. And nowadays, with workforce uh, learning trends embracing uh, technology on a larger scale, access to these content-rich uh, video or you know course libraries, it's just a click away, like plethora. And so, the point is, or the idea is, uh, with the help of learning uh, platform, enable learners to uh, navigate through variety of content e-learning, m-learning, micro-learning, cross-cultural, cross-functional, or I would say behavioral as well, and let them pick what they want to learn about. So if this self-directed learning efforts could be acknowledged with rewards and recognitions, we definitely can take learning to the next level in any organization. Point noted, absolutely, Mega, and agree that when you attach something like an R&R program, it just becomes even more engaging than what it is. So for me, normally diversity and inclusion is twofold. Uh, one is, of course, having that kind of diverse workforce, but second is always having the representation at the table. So I'm going to turn to Nikita. Nikita, you're a mom to a beautiful young boy. As every mother, including myself, uh, know well the responsibility and priority shift almost that comes with motherhood, it also becomes the number one reason, unfortunately, that leads to a pipeline leak in women talent. So my question to you now is going to be twofold. The question number one I want to ask you is, how can L&D address this? From a returning mom's perspective, for someone like you or me or any other woman who's been on a maternity leave and for her to come back, is there something that LND can do to uh, make this a seamless transition? That's one. The second I want to understand from you is how can businesses sensitize other stakeholders? Obviously, because we're going to have different genders at play. How can we also bring everyone on the same page with regards to maybe some normal biases that we have towards someone who's just come back from a long leave or a mother who also needs to be a caregiver to her child? Uh, Pranjali, thank you for asking such a good question. Uh, 
I would happy to throw a few points here to say that L&D plays a very crucial role in returnship of any woman who is working at a different role and is uh, handling a leadership position in the organization. It's a re-entering uh, to the corporate world and uh, a working woman requires a logistical and personal support to continue to thrive in, in her career. So when I say I would like to take you through a few facts here, in the GDP, when we are talking about adding to the economy, women are here in a recent numbers, if I take you through, are adding to around 20% of the GDP in the Indian economy. And if we need to have increase in this number, say, uh, to around 40 to 50 percent of uh, women contribution. So it's very important to address this topic in the corporates wherein women who want to return to work should be given a platform, tools, and a better learning program wherein she can adjust in the after maternity period. So uh, when I say that, uh, it's very uh, nowadays women are eager to come back. Only few things stops them, like uh, bias in their uh, gender bias, people thought process. So it's just a complete change in the mindset that has to be brought in the people also, and in the and the relief in the mind of a woman that if she's coming back, she would be provided with all the tools and the support in the organization. And LND is the line which can definitely add to it by setting up a returning program for a woman who is coming back. She can, if, if there is a little more gap, uh, the L&D team can design uh, tools and technology programs, new software It has been introduced. It starts from the onboarding process. L&D team should create a journey for a full year plan wherein they would be benefited with the programs uh, like uh, uh, time management, like fear management, and very important point here is uh, a returning mother has a kind of guilt of uh, having the primary focus shifted from the child towards work, and that work-life balance program should be created for a woman, and it should be delivered to the entire manager level also, wherein they can understand how important it is and how crucial it is to bring such points on the table and discuss that. Absolutely. Uh, there are three points or takeaways I can uh, probably summarize from what you said. One is going to be an entire journey, which I would say will comprise of a lot of retraining for the role that a woman uh, works in or wants to achieve. The second would be some behavioral skills. Uh, the third thing, of course, is going to be the bias, which, uh, again, for most cultures in the world, not just India, we do have a predominant bias towards being a male-oriented society. I think that needs to change. We need to kind of move the needle to make everyone understand that women also have just as much potential as a man does. All right. Thank you, Nikita. And again, thank you so much for joining us all the way from Mumbai on phone. I'm going to shift to Harsha. Harsha, you're our sales ninja, and as every salesperson worth his salt would know, empathy, resilience, perseverance are some of the top ingredients for relationship building. So what's your take on the importance of soft skills, maybe versus hard skills, or we can talk about these independently for the workplace of today and tomorrow? I'm happy to be called as sales ninja, but definitely if I summarize and call it as everyone who is into this field, that is sales field, is a sales ninja because they understand uh, how to deal with people on a daily basis. If I talk about on fields, on call, we know how difficult it is to talk to people and tell them what we are and why we are doing this. But definitely, as you mentioned about few points which are important in uh, taking it through as a sales process for for uh, knowing empathy, resilience, perseverance, definitely these are the top ingredients along with the skills which you have mentioned that is soft skill versus hard skills. Definitely they both have uh, their own importance and they stand together hand by hand because if I talk about soft skills, soft skills is where it is subjective, it is a trait to a human being, not a, to a woman or a man. It is actually where it's a trait which you cannot uh, teach. Versus 
versus hard skill is where it can be teachable it can be measurable and here we can definitely talk about it in terms of equality because soft skill is where you cannot teach hard skills is where you can teach people and make them comfortable in doing job and make them in terms of how they can or they are capable of doing that job both have their own importance in life now if soft skill and hard skill it's not only these two skills to talk about to being into industry and uh, be there to work as a equal person of a uh, male and a female but there are few points which i want to highlight which we recently have seen that Uh, changed to the society in terms of welcoming female candidates into different type of leadership roles which was not so common earlier if i talk about the facts and figures ratios if you see it recently in 2018 and 19 it has uh, exponentially grown from 25 to 35 percent worldwide and that too recent talks about sales leaders we have grown to a different level which was huge gap if i talk about 5 6 years back there were a ratio of 1 One to eight, so there are eight men who are in sales and one female candidate into sales field. But definitely, if I talk about overall sales leaders or female leaders, we have grown to a number which is a proud moment uh, for uh, everyone into the society. I agree, Harsha. You and thank you for giving that stat. I had no idea that that is the kind of ratio we had in sales and the direction we are moving it. It's super encouraging. This is also my understanding, and I think as women, we are now more empowered than before. This generation is the generation where we know what we want and we will do everything it takes to get there. Uh, another thing you said is that we probably cannot look at soft skills and hard skills in isolation. Maybe it has to be a balanced approach because you cannot do without one. Quite honestly. All right. Uh, so with that, I'll move to Edlin. Uh, Edlin, you lead Upside LMS's uh, tech support team. It's a function that is often, or uh, at least perceived, to be male dominated. It could be because of the 365 by 24 by 7 or uh, ring that comes with it normally. But to some extent, it's also true in our case. So at Upside LMS, just for everyone's information, we have about 80% of our team, the tech support team, which comprises male only, and again, the remaining 20%, including Edlin, is uh, women. So how important do you think? it is to have a holistic training program or intervention that not just sensitizes the males about importance of having women on their team but also uh, encourages them to have a better buy in to whatever decisions that you as a women leader take for them so firstly i feel very proud as you have mentioned that there is only 80% of men who are male candidates and that's female candidates like 20% where i feel proud over here that i am working as a manager and as a technical support where it's been 365 days and 24 by 7 so it really gives me a pride moment over here and uh, coming to the point where you have mentioned that in the age of globalization when we work on multi facts projects and we have to think about the convenient diversity which depends upon the gender and the race so when it comes to me i ideally believe that what i can do as a female so it gives me more of an encouragement that what a man cannot do and what a woman can do so that difference which brings in me and it helps me to grow in my career path and which i ideally believe that every woman should also believe that this can be achieved if they think that everything can be done by themselves so that is my perspective on that point and uh, yes as you said that it is very important to have a broad thinking of the role treating diversity programs which will help the organization to understand the equality between the men and women so when in ideally the lnd program sessions which will uh, first in as a, one of our female candidate uh, like harsha said over here that there were male domination before so i truly believe and i agree to that point as well so if we have diversity training programs this will definitely reduce most of the mindset what the people's attitude and thinking which we have in the society today so it will also help to understand like what the intervention is of increasing diversity and inclusion in workplace and i believe diversity training program will encourage women empowerment which will further help in any organization in retaining the employing uh, increasing morale reducing workplace harassment and improve recruitment efforts to create a more diverse at workplace agreed edlin uh, i think compliance is a big big part of what we spoke about 
posh or any other compliance that uh, not only empowers women to speak about you know all the positives and the negatives in the workplace is as critical as also sensitizing boys or men about how important it is to have a women at the board all right then uh, let's switch gears and dive head first into the fun piece of this podcast it's called the rapid fire it's a simple word association game i'm going to give each one of you a word and you just have to really say the first thing that comes to your mind there are no right or wrong answers just trust your instincts and go for it are we cool yeah yep yeah. uh, so i'm going to start with uh, nikita you your word is diversity good financial outcomes all right uh, edlin women leaders myself harsha gender stereotyping sales profile mega glass ceiling needs to be broken all right well said well said that's a time you all we love to connect with you on linkedin thank you for listening see you next month <laughs>